Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a new store that opened in Houston as well as the business model of the store. Now, local game stores have been offering coffee a lot and coffee has very high margins. It fits with the board games. So instead of going to Barnes and Nobles, which many Barnes and Nobles have Starbucks, I actually have not been to one recently that doesn't have a Starbucks inside. You get your coffee, you read some books, and then that's a good day. Now, this is Hunter Pence and his wife. They opened a store in Houston just this month. And interesting thing to know is Hunter Pence is a professional baseball player. Why is the store in Houston? I'm not sure because he plays baseball in San Francisco, or he used to. I don't know where he currently plays. I think it's still with the San Francisco Giants. And he is a giant nerd, so he decided what would be better than to own your own store. And that business model makes a lot of sense to me. If you have capital, one of the reasons that businesses, not just local game stores, but local game stores in particular go out of business is lack of capital. So let's say a new hot product comes out, but you are stuck selling the old product from a year ago your inventory is stagnant, you're not going to do well. Your competition is going to eat you for a lot, eat you alive. So capital as well as cash flow is a big deal. Hunter also has the benefit, um, and this is a huge benefit that he is a famous celebrity and he can promote his store. Now he also signed another, I would say, geeky famous celebrity his name is ming i did watch it's co called comic book heroes it is one of the kevins um i forget it, the kevin used to be really famous in comedy it's a comedy and ming is your typical asian dude who is you know but he's also kind of a celebrity in this space especially when you relate it to a game store so yeah, this is Ming right here. Uh, Ming opens a comic book and gaming cafe. Uh, it's called the Coral, Coral Sword, the coffee, comic, and gaming cafe. He's opening in Houston with Hunter Pence, Alexis Pence, David something, and Sandy Bledsoe. This is how to do it, right? You need lots of capital. You need some famous people to do it. I don't see local game stores. There was a local game store in Oklahoma I was talking to previously and got into discussions about buying inventory, but the inventory is way too expensive. It's just, why would I buy from you when I can buy from Dave and Adams cheaper, much, much cheaper, um, and not worry about all of that stuff? You know, I'm not here to support your store. I'm here to get the best deal I can. That deal never happened. I mean, he wanted $80 a box, of like regular stuff uh, I, it's it's embarrassing right eighty dollars a box is so high journey of nicks i think 62 with discounts it's under 60 right now no so this is the new way to have a store the store is modern it is clean it has you know a coffee place it has board games it's no longer the evolution of the store is no longer this hole-in-the-wall place that has mold everywhere and everything smells. It's not that anymore. And it is coffee. It's fancy coffee. Not just regular coffee, but really fancy coffee. They have coffee experts helping them choose what they are offering. It's nice pastries. It's very high-margin stuff. And then board games. Also, there's going to be a more of a trend when you see people use social media. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, obviously Ming has used social media, and they have you know followings. They have people that they can tweet to uh, to promote businesses. So a lot of businesses today, uh, local game stores, don't even have websites. You might think it's kind of funny when I say it, but I can list a bunch of them right now who've been trying to sell me their. They just don't have websites. Um, they sell on TCG Player, but they do not have their own websites, which I will tell you from SEO is very bad because you're just getting chomped at the... So if someone's new to Houston, they're going to search best magic store in Houston, right? 
If you don't have a website, your TCG player thing is not going to pop up, right? Because everyone has one of those, even individuals. So you have to compete. It is about community. And I think this is going to work. I'm very fascinated to see this particular model of... Because this model, Mox Boarding House, uh, Card Kingdom, a lot of these newer stores have have food, have nice food. They have coffee they have starbucks they have other stuff to bring you to the store and then by the way you can also buy a game so hunter pence isn't shy about his nerdy tendencies take one look at his instagram page and you see that he loves coffee board games video games and reads comic he's going to combine all of these into one magical place he opened coral sword coffee comic and games in houston it is a one-stop shop that encapsulates everything Pence loves to do when he's not playing baseball. Oh, he grew up in uh, Fort Worth. And okay, that makes sense. He spent his first five seasons in the Houston Astros. So this is probably his home. That makes a lot more sense. Fascinating. This is the exact business model that many of these other local game stores are competing. They don't have the social media. They don't have the Hunter Pence or the Ming. They don't have, you know, the fancy coffee place. I'll be honest, this is more along the lines of where I would go. You know, I'm old now and I don't want to go to a hole in wall place that smells like mode where people are farting. I would rather go to this type of place where it's it's a little fancier. It's a little, it's, I assume much clean. I mean, it's brand new. It's, it's a lot cleaner. There's nice coffee. The people you meet will probably be a lot different. Uh, in my experience, when the store is kind of bad, you meet people who are, you know, who may not, who may steal, I, I hate to say it, but that's what it is, right? If you go to a Walmart and you look around at Walmart and you look at the cars in the parking lot, yes, you'll see some nice Escalades and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's a lot different than if you go to Whole Foods. So this is the Whole Foods version of the Walmart. The Walmart is your typical local game store. The Whole Foods version offers really nice coffee. It probably has better customer service. It has, you know, it's cleaner. It's brand new. It's more modern looking. So Pence may be the big name, but he'll have help from some experts. His wife, Alexis, is a popular YouTube. Okay, so now they have YouTubes. This is the way to do it, right? This is the model. Have a great website, have some famous people, have social media, drive traffic to it, and you're going to beat out everyone. This is the evolution. A typical local game store is not going to survive. A typical business owner cannot compete against these people. I mean, it's just not possible. Um, Alexis, popular YouTube personality. On top of that, the two will be working with Ming Chen. Oh, it's AMC, comic book heroes or something like that. They do twits. They, when I look at some stores today and they don't do any twits, they don't do any of this stuff, how are they going to compete? How will they survive? I mean, this is the, this is the correct way to do it. I mean, I don't know. What, oh, it's a coffee store. I was like, why is this place open at 7 a.m.? You see they have their Twitch channel. They have, you know, their social media is on point. They have team members on. I mean, if you look at other people's Facebook, you look at most people's Facebook pages for stores, it's terrible. Like, it doesn't tell you any information, like, you know. And I got in a conversation last night with a guy who was offended that I posted that he didn't send a JC Mind Sculptor. I'm very tempted to publish it because it shows you the mentality of it. To save $100, he would rather have a very negative post on Reddit. So anytime anyone types in his store name, that post in Reddit, it's going to pop up. And then he's blaming, quote, me, although I didn't meant his, I could easily put his store name in the title of my video and then that would pop up for sure. But then he's trying to like flag stuff and that's just not the mentality, right? So he sold a JST Mind Sculptor foil. Uh, he makes all types of excuses, but at the end of the day, he doesn't deliver it. And, you know, maybe there's an inventory problem, but he shouldn't be advertising multiple, the same card on multiple platforms, right? That would be like if I sold, I was trying to sell the same, if I had a very in-demand card 
that I knew the ban and restricted list was coming out that night, and I sold it the night previous or sometime before, that and I didn't update my inventory, that's kind of on me, right? So what I would need to do and what I would want the good PR to do is I would buy him a card in Marketplace, order him a card from another store, or make up the difference in price, and then instead of posting about how he canceled my order, the person who ordered Foil Jace would be saying, this guy is amazing, he went above and beyond, right? And then he's threatening to sue, like, or, you know, take action. I, I don't know if he knows what I am because what he's saying doesn't is not right. Um, clearly, he does not have a legal degree. But this type of store owner who is going to get bad PR the rest of their business, um, their business will always be associated with that Reddit post given how highly upvoted that post was versus Hunter Pence, right? What's $100 a Hunter Pence? He'll make it right because he understands social media. He has a, a famous YouTube personality as a wife. He has Ming, who's on TV, AMC's Comic Book Heroes, and he himself is Hunter Pence. This is the evolution of a game store. You're not going to have crappy game stores as much anymore opening up. This is what they're competing against. You can't win if, for you, you would rather take $100, get destroyed on Reddit, and, you know, the YouTube video. How are you going to beat Hunter Pants? Anyway, bye guys.